I'm going for what damage spikes I can get. I'll probably go for 20... I'll probably go for 20 on my health and both damage stats. I, I do need to remember to increase stamina, though. Oh, right, I'm not getting my Estus Flasks back because it's not kindled. It doesn't really make sense to kindle that one, though, because the next bonfire is so close. Like, around the corner, practically. That'll take some getting used to. Going back to a, the game where you'd have a different number of Estus Flasks per bonfire. They really do change mechanics like crazy between games in a bunch of ways that are actually kind of easy to forget until you're back into it and you're realizing that everything's different. Like, killing bosses does not ref does not t make you human, and your bonfire determines your Estus Flask count. That's some weird stuff to go back to. Come on, I see you there. Ow, really? There we go. Mmm, we can head right down to my favorite boss fight right now. Oh, I hate that boss fight so much. There's a good ring in it for me, though. If nothing else. That's technically the case. I think the Hydra is one of the worst fights they've ever made in any of their games, basically. And this is the game that has a bit of chaos in it, I know that. But, it, man... The Hydra is, like, really questionable. Like, uh... For me, the bed of chaos has cool points, at the very least. Despite being miserable to actually play. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, did I get it? Cool. You feel so powerless when you're stuck with your animation, and you're like, no, it's missed, and the next attack's gonna be five seconds from now. I'll never make it. I'll never make it. We'll never made it. We'll never make it. We made it. Ooh, ooh. Whole set just for me? Is there a way down that doesn't hurt me? Maybe this one. Yeah, that one. There is a whole bonfire waiting around the corner. Just gotta deal with this dude down here. What happened to you? Did you have a whoopsie off the cliffy? Oh, oh, oh yeah you did. You jumped off a cliff directly in front of an enemy and probably died. Doesn't... Didn't even see what killed them, but it's, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yeah, it's Friendo over here. Friend, it's Friendo, my favorite friend. How did you miss? Come on, game. Okay, thanks. Thanks me. That's fine. I don't need to trust in myself. Oh Dude, was that did he not block that was that how was that full damage because if that's the case I'm oh That's not good news. Oh, he corrected mid swing How big is this area cool I need a big open area Oop. Hey, buddy Best friend. Whoop. I'm sorry. Three damage? Are you joking? <laughs> how do I... How does that calculation work out? How did you even land on that number? Ever. I'm genuinely confused by that number existing. How did that happen? All right. Oh, please don't jump straight off the cliff. Oh, he's having a pathing adventure over there, isn't he? That was interesting. I think he didn't know how to path to me, so he was running into that wall before turning around. I was really worried he was going to backstop, back, uh, backstep off the cliff. I'm... Hmm, it must have been like a blocked attack and a glancing blow and like several other calculations all stacking or something to go from my damage value to a three. 
That's brutal. Grass Crest. Is that the one that regenerates my stamina? Slightly speed stamina recovery. Ah, uh, but it's not 100% block. And 100% block is nice. It's a nice thing to have. Why would anyone want the Night Shield? It's heavier. It has lower defenses. It has slightly higher physical damage, I guess. I think that guy doesn't respawn. So this is actually a, a handy checkpoint to have. That means I don't have to go all the way back to Andre. Does this... I'm trying to remember this one now. Where does this go? So this is one of the less... Yeah, this is one of the less remembered chunks of the game to me. Does this go to New Londo? It looks like the New Londo elevator. Is this like right next to the other one? It's you. It's you. Huh. That does mean that this is the back way into Quayleg. You go that way, and you can just run along past the undead dragon, and I think you go straight to Quayleg, because the you're past the locked door, and you can take the shortcut in, and yeah. Hmm. That's really neat. The issue for me is just I've done that before. In fact, I've done I'm so familiar with that option. I I got to say like I don't know if I've played through Blight Town properly a single time. And so I'm I'm going I'm going to go that way this playthrough I think. Just experience that. That looked like... I was gonna say it looked like it was just me, but... How the hell would you know? I'm just basically still wearing my starting equipment. Yeah, I still don't have another spell. Yeah, I, uh... That's an interesting option. But, and I've never gone that way exactly, but that's only because I've had the key in the past, so I could skip the easy way by just taking the elevator from, uh... I can just take the elevator straight from Firelink, I believe, and go straight through there. But yeah, I, I, I think I've never played Blight Town from front to back correctly, like starting in the depths and everything, uh, a single time. So I want to do that. Hey guys. Hey friendlies. How you doing? Hey, buddy. Do I even have the key to this yet? I think I think it's locked. Yep, it's locked. You can see- wait, there's like a giant gap there, that's weird. On the right side of the door, you can just see through the door. So if he aggroed, I could see him. Hmm. Is that him walking up? Oh yeah, there he is. You can just see him right there. It's too bad he's seemingly totally hollow or something, so you can't just like, you know, talk to him. Hey, Havel. Hey, Havel. What's what's up? How you doing? Someone lock you in there? You have any dark secrets the kingdom didn't want to have uh, come out because they you'd shatter what everyone understands about reality or some shit? Hey, Havel. Hey there. He's down. One down. Hey, buddy. Oof. You wanna talk about it? You seem to have some unwarranted aggression flowing around. And, like, people are picking up on it. 
And like it really just it's making everyone uncomfortable, dude. An actual stagger, yeah. I celebrate every little stagger way too much because I'm just I get used to decks and quick weapons and stuff like that. Like it's they're just nice. It's nice being able to like just weave in and out of attacks and Especially since a lot of them are, are thrusting weapons that punish people for counterattack damage, like stuff like that's going on. But damn, do you never see someone stagger ever? Like you forget it's a mechanic. Oh, those look different. They actually look like water now. Were they always supposed to look like water? Because they always they used to look like a weird magical plasma attack. I feel like they've never looked like water properly. Thank you. I'm leaning further away from th thank you right about now, honestly. That was a tad rude. Is that all of them, though? Come here, you big bastard. Melee me. Ow. Did I even hit him? <laughs> okay. Okay, that was a weird animation. Please don't... No. God damn it. No. Why? No, don't do that. Fuck. Why? Are you, wait, why are you doing that? Don't do that. God damn. Yeah, don't do that. That's douchey. I took one off. Come on. It's just very important to me that you do not use the projectile attack, please. Ah, you awkward ass fight. Ow. Ah, shit. That's still hitting him. Surprisingly forgiving hitboxes at times. Come, o come over here. Okay. What a weird fight. <laughs> What's weird about it in particular is that he has all these heads, but he only has one attack animation for melee. So because he has one melee attack animation, he'll just do the same thing over and over again. Which means after a few of his heads are gone, he straight up can't attack you anymore if you stand still. Because he centers his attack on you, and the heads that normally hit the center of his attack just are gone. It's real weird. Ugh. And the, the fear is that if I back off too much, he won't use a melee attack. Because if he doesn't use a melee attack, then I get hit by, pro by energy projectiles that destroy my health bar. So I'm trying not to have that happen. But when you're in the water, you can't move. Did I miss every attack? Okay. Stop that.
God damn it, though. He's like rotating away. God damn it. Okay, I hit him that time. Ah, he almost hit me. Okay, I'm kind of hitting him. Come on, he's inside the rocks now. It's just an incredibly finicky fight, honestly. Am I hitting him? I hit him. I have to look at the health bar to see if I made contact. Come on. No, don't hit me with energy attacks. I'm sorry. I hit him again. That, that actually hit him. Surprisingly, that hit him. I need to rotate you or some shit. How is he not... How's that head not off yet? There we go. One less head. I just can't s Okay, that's where one of them's landing. I can barely see. Aha. Is he dead dead? Nope, he's hanging in there with his last head. Uh, oh, it's that one. It's the one that attack- it, it's like over the wa the hole. There's like a- that, that's the hole right there. If I go past that, I die. How the fuck do you hit that with melee attacks? <laughs> uh... He's not even hitting me. I'm so confused by your status in this game. I would say, how did you make it into the final product, but Bed of Chaos did too, so I guess... It goes either way. But this guy is so bizarre. Oh man, can I even beat him? That's a genuine question. Can I even- Can I beat him? How do I- Oh man, oh man. It was a mistake to do this without the ring, wasn't it? Th there's no way, I can't get over there. And this won't reach, right? Ooh. There we go. Yes, keep hitting his head as it comes back. Between all of the attacks I have, it'll probably kill it. Shit. Ah, uh, is my timing off? Shit. Now it's way too early. Alright, well, I did two in a row, and then I just lost all access to doing this correctly. Come on, how, how did I do that twice? The oh, wow, he's like right here now. Why, what, why are we neighbors all of a sudden? Oh, we're done with that. Okay, what? I don't know how... I don't know how I ever hit him. It just, I hit him twice and then it became impossible. Weird. Uh, do I have a crossbow? Longbow. Can't use that. Do I... I have feather arrows.
This is not going to work. Why is he sometimes right here and other times really far away? Yes, it killed the head. Thank God. We did it. <laughs> All right, now on to better content. I, 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 uh, I desperately need to remember for all future playthroughs that, like, getting, getting that ring that lets you run through the water so that, at normal speed is mandatory. It is not, like, haha, that'll make the fight a little easier or whatever. Like, no, that, that fight is, ugh. It's the difference between not being, it's like, oh, this isn't great to, oh my god, this is the worst thing. It's just if you don't have that ring, or like, or like a ton of projectiles or something. He just feels so weird and cobbled together. Like, he, he's a, he literally can't attack you directly. Like, that's how weird of a fight he is. There's nothing back here at the moment. Looks like it. I'm really confused why they chose to make two of him in the game. He's like, he's the se I think he's the second worst boss fight after Bed of Chaos. No. No, he's the worst boss fight. He's the worst boss fight in, uh, in Dark Souls, and he might be the worst boss fight from software is made in any of their five games of this place, of this style. Just because it's like, there's, he has two moves total, which is already a big, like, what? Really? Two attacks? And one of them you just desperately want him to never use because he'll blast you with things that you can't block or dodge. So then it's, but then it's just one repeating melee attack over and over again, but when you destroy his heads, he can't attack you anymore because his attack is only one animation over and over again, so he can't target you correctly. It's just a... He's just a real weird one. And he's such a buggy mess that in the, in the Ash Lake version of the fight, uh, he can... When he jumps from one side of the lake to the other, he can die instantly without you doing anything. Which, uh, for those of you that missed that, check out the, uh... Check out that episode of, uh... My playthrough with Andrew, which is where that's, that happened. <laughs> There's Andrew playing, and because he's got the glitch aura that seems to always make glitches happen too often around him, uh, he straight up uh, caused that to happen <laughs> in an Ash Lake. We got to Ash Lake, and the Hydra just died on its own without him fighting it, and it was incredible. That's just that's just fascinating to watch in action. So on top of being a bad boss fight, he's glitchy and suicidal. Just adding to the pile, really. Oh, that's the Hedgehog Land. Weird hybrids between, like, the Cheshire Cat and, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go this way. I would say this is probably my least understood zone in the game overall. Or at least memorized. It, it's probably in part due to the lack of, uh... To oh, shit. I'm sure it's in part due to the complete and total lack of any landmarks of any kind. But this whole zone is just... Oh, shit! I'm in trouble. I'm gonna lose these souls, aren't I? You can always come back for them, obviously, but, uh... Shit, shit, shit. Had I... I couldn't find my way back. 
<laughs> yeah, there's there's there are big blobby foresty dark areas that are low on landmarks or really any distinguishing features, so I really struggle to remember their layout or where I am or what they what they mean for the environment. Uh you can really see the drop off too, because I there's a in that I, I remember most of that dungeony, the more dungeony area that has like armored knights, like the big the stone armor guys, and the moonlight butterfly and stuff like that, because that's a bunch of hallways and side paths and trees. It's the big circular blobby ch chunks of map where I'm like, I where is this? Like in my mental map of the world, there's like. You get you go you go from here and then there's just a circle with question mark question mark question mark and then on the other side is like the uh, the Artorius Gate and uh, is it the Artorius Gate or the Astora Gate? But like it's just it's just a circle with question marks on it and then on the other end is like Sif somewhere and then the gate that opens up that goes back to uh, the blacksmith. And, like, there's a whole chunk in the middle where I'm like, I don't know how that fits together. I don't know. But that hurt. The funny thing is I went that way because I didn't want to go the other way because I think I thought the other ones would be more lethal and I was worried about losing all my souls. And the smart thing is to warp back and use all my souls, but then part of me is like, ah, but people are watching. Let's not do a long whole trip back, right? And then I get killed, so I have to do a whole trip back. <laughs> it finds a way. I might grab my souls, then just come back and go to the other side after all. It's interesting, I have like such a... I have such like a mental atlas of so much of d the Dark Souls and Bloodborne areas in general. And where you lose me is definitely here. And similarly, there's a zone in Bloodborne that does the same thing to me. Uh, it's really rough that multiple ones aggro around here. So they're kind of aggressive and have long range. Uh, shit, where did I die? Where? Come on, where are my souls? They're that way? Weird. Uh oh, getting stuck in the trees. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your souls rewind. I feel like they're rewinding further back than I'm familiar with. Like they, they're really far from where I died. It's a surprise. Man, am I not fond of dealing with that area. But maybe if they, yeah, if they aggro through here, it gives me a little bit more of a chance, I think. Especially if that happens. <laughs> he dead. Oh, shit. Oh, no! I made a crucial mistake when I took, took off my crossbow, which is that I forgot to put my pyromancy flame back on, because you know who's probably really weak to fire? The goddamn tree monsters. Ow, as I melt. He may be the tree that's on fire, but I'm the one that's melting. He did it. He actually took a lot less damage than I was hoping. I was hoping it'd be like lethal instantly. Not so much. This might be the area that leads to Sif. Because it's the area that I don't, I'm not familiar with. I don't know. 
I'm garbage at the zone. Come on over, buddy. Single file, please. Just you. No friends. Please don't hug me. I don't like hugs. Oh, shh. There's so many of you guys. Why are there so many of you guys? This is like some kind of forest. Something about these guys almost makes me think of like the crabs from Dark Souls 3. Oh no, I'm not I'm not thinking of the clams. I'm thinking of the, I'm, I'm not thinking of the crabs. I'm thinking of the clams from this game. It's because of their weird head on top, which is like kind of supposed to be the top of a tree or it's supposed to be a bush or something. Oh yeah, these guys are supposed to be bushes that have like their legs have become root uh the roots have become legs and they're coming up at us. Not really, a mo not really the most meaningful comparison. They were just making me think of another thing from another part of the game. Ooh boy, pay pay more attention to the direction we're walking in. Oh fuck! Speaking of which, ah oh, man, you guys teaming up is not great for me. Can we like, can we like make our? We gotta spread our appointments out, dude. Please, just professional courtesy, you know. I'll see you on Tuesday, and him on Thursday. We'll figure this out. Like, there's only so much I can handle at once, you know? No, I said no hugs. Gotta respect my boundaries. Hey. There we go. I may be a hack, but I'm a two-handed hack. There's some damage. Damn. That's a spike. That's like more of a damage spike than I expect from two-handed combat, actually. Thankfully, being a bunch of crappy roots, uh, they don't do that much stamina damage when you're blocking. Oh, crap. Okay. I got away with that way less damage than expected. What is so glowy up there? Oh, it's just one of the flowers, isn't it? It might be the... No... No, I don't think- I, th I was thinking maybe it's the Moonlight Butterfly, but I don't think that lines up at all. Oh, that's probably an item you can actually get. That's probably not just a flower. Although it might be just- might just be one of the flowers. 